And then my next reading is on Nicola Sturgeon, and she's the first Prime Minister of Scotland. And since I did a tarot reading on Scotland and she came up in that reading, I just am going to do a cup reading on her. And I did the cup here. And now, do you guys remember I said that you do a reading on someone, but you don't always get what you expect? And I did a reading on Mohammed bin Salman, his cup and his name, and he came up just building a, like a water city in the middle of the desert and trying to become the liberator out there. But in other readings that I have done on him, I saw people attempting to kill him, but it did not come up on his cup. Now, I'm not saying anything bad's going to happen to Nicola Sturgeon. I didn't see that at all. But I'm just saying sometimes what you see in the cup is things that are related to that person, things that are happening in that person's atmosphere, to their friends, to their families, to their country. And since she is a world leader, you will get uh, a picturesque sort of movie of what's going to happen in her country or her side of the UK. And with that, let's start. Now, I did a reading a while back where I said that there was going to be some sort of hurricane hitting the UK. And do you remember that a hurricane that was turned into a tropical or turned to a storm hit the UK? Nothing terrible happened, just flooding in a few small areas of the country, but nothing big. But I did predict that. And now here on this cup, again, Scotland is going to get a storm, tornado, or hurricane or extremely damaging winds heading for Scotland. I'm sorry, you guys. And I see people hurt laying near like the beaches. There's an area where there's a bridge, like some sort of bridge and you have to cross this bridge and climb up and then you have like a castle and so then we have surgeon there with another gentleman and someone else accompanying them they're wearing hard hats for protection and so i guess they're going up there up at the top and now they're going down to assess maybe the damage in the area and we will see on the news we will see her with another elderly gentleman both wearing hard hats, assessing the damage that has been done to that region of Scotland. And it will come out on the news that she's going to find a little dog or a cat. <laughs> I don't know why that came out, but that's what I see here. So it's going to be like a disaster area. And they're going to need funds to, to help rebuild that area again. And floodings. There's going to be floodings in different areas of the country, in Scotland, of that area. And that's not that far off, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't mean to distress you, but I do give requests for readings, and when I do the readings, they're not always the best, okay? So now that you guys know, in Scotland, if you live, now that you know this cup, that I read this cup, if you live near bodies of water, whether it be a lake or ocean or anywhere where there could be flooding, guys, just get ready. Have food, have water, bottled water, have food, have your flashlights, things to keep you warm, good blankets and things like that. I don't mean to, to be, I don't mean to scare you. I don't mean to spread fear. It's, it's, it's it's going to inconvenience a lot of people, but it's better to be prepared. And if anyone is out on the beach, maybe you know how those people like to surf. Some young kids, they when they see a storm, they like to go out and surf. Maybe that's those are the people that are going to be getting hurt. Most people are not going to be hurt, you know. But there, if you if you seek a shelter and you have a flashlight and you have your water and you have food that you need to heat, make sure you have that kind of thing 
available to you. I don't mean to make it a bigger deal than what it is. It's not going to be like category catastrophic or anything like that, but it's going to be an inconvenience and it's something that will happen. And it seems to be places near the water. So now that you know, you know that just be prepared. So then here I have her with that same gentleman, same elderly gentleman. He has like grayish hair and he wears dark suits. I see him and her going somewhere and they think they're going to request money. There's a request for money, maybe to help with the flooding. And it's some money that is Scotland's money. So I don't know if they're going to ask the UK. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how it works. I don't know if Scotland has to pay the UK for, for something or if Scotland has to pay the EU. I, I don't know, but there's money that they've been saving and giving to someone else to hold for them that they're going to ask for that money back. So Nicola is going to ask for that money back. And then I see them here. Now, I am confused as to what this is. I don't know if the woman has properties or owns properties or what. Or if she, because when I read for people, normal people, sometimes I get this, or if they have a property and they want to sell it. The only difference here is for a normal person, you see all this is money, but here I see money or documents. And then here I go again, votes, three votes, one, two, three. Now that I'm doing my political readings, I know what votes look like. So there is a person going and talking to her about some sort of property. And, and if they're trying to decide what to do with this property and promised promising her votes. I don't know if it's votes for the whole Brexit thing or votes for her future political campaign in Scotland. But I see her working very hard everywhere, working, 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 moving back and forth, trying to get money for Scotland, trying to alleviate everything that's happening there. And the fact that there's a dog here, uh, it just shows that the damage, it, it's, it's going to be significant and that they're looking at the most destitute areas of the, of the, of the country. I'm not saying that they're destitute, but I'm saying the poor areas. And here I see them going back to Parliament, and here's a bill, and here's another bill, and here are more votes. And then there's a guy that, a young guy that works with them, with Nicola and the other elderly gentleman with the gray hair, or light blonde, either light blonde or gray hair. But I think it's gray because he comes out older. Older people have like a little bit, like the back is not as straight as younger people. So if you look, his back is a little, so that to me is a significance or sig uh, signifier of the age of the person. So they're there in Parliament with this younger guy, two bills on deck. And the younger guy that's supposed to be siding with them, a light-skinned, young, uh, thin guy. Is gonna be hiding. <laughs> so I don't know if, if if when they're voting, he's gonna be like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom, or I'm 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 in the corridors. I I missed the the voting part. He's gonna pull something. He's gonna pull some some shadiness like that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I see. That's what I see for her. And unfortunately, Scottish people, you guys are going to have some sort of wind, high wind, storm. I know you guys don't get hurricanes up there or tornadoes, but that's kind of what I see. I don't know if you could see it too, like a devil tornado here. That could be high winds as well, a storm. And you see people laying on the ground like that. Those are people that have been injured. Yeah, that's what I see. I can't make up anything else. It wasn't a lot, but 
I'm sure it's important and it's significant. Sometimes it's not quantity, but the quality. Thank you for your suggestions. Thank you for your viewership. And I have more videos to load on more topics. So let me get going and stay tuned.